I'm a standard legal advisor in the Ministry of Environment, uh, and uh, my kind of task is to promote the uh, questions concerning building control and, and digitalization of the on the building. Uh, it is so that uh, uh, from the uh, year 2000. Uh, and 25 from the beginning, the uh, BIM BIM kind of designs comes a compulsory document in the in the building control process, and and we are based. It is based on open BIM, and we have to now create tools to read and for code you know, to read information and for code checking in the in the building control process. And this has been a kind of a major project to kind of start to start the work. I think uh, the main idea is because the, the, these are always kind of pilot projects and pioneer projects so that start by step by step so that so they take, uh, take small advantages and, and, and continue from them because, because otherwise, otherwise projects come too big and too, too complex, so that we, we are trying now to take and rubber pros kind of uh, uh, the same philosophy of that, 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 so that we take step by step in the develop. And now we, now we have created tools so that we can read information from IFC files directly to our archive, uh, to our information registers. Uh, it is so that uh, uh, for this kind of open beam designs, designs uh, uh, the only only kind of format that has been approved by our national archive to per be a permanent archiving uh, archive format is IFC 4.0 at the moment, and and that's why we believe it that it is the winning horns. Uh, we start a new project on the basis of this probe. It is this is kind of a continuous continuous development where so that we take step by step. Uh, we, uh, we have this kind of uh, measuring of carbon footprint and carbon handprint so that we want to have tools for to read them directly from the from the beam designs.